Being you beautiful people. So, <laughs> uh, let's try again. Good morning, beautiful people. We stayed here last night. I'll just show you a bit of the river. So I'm in Hythe. Uh, if you watched the last video yesterday, that's why that's where I told you I was going to stay. And uh, just before you come into Hythe, actually this is like kind of on the outskirts, but uh, there's a naval uh, cycle path. If you come on Route Two, you'll you'll definitely go through this area. And uh, I wouldn't recommend necessarily staying in this place, but it will do. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I, I I tented up here yesterday, parked up here. Uh, so there's a, you see that there's a, a walking track here and uh, actually I'll show you the, I'll quickly show you um, the cycle track so right down here. See I was thinking like no one walks on the walking path but it turns out people do. So this is the sort of cycle track that I'll be going down. Um, this is quite a long one actually um so yeah this is where i was staying last night and i thought oh over here you can't really see from the track here or here but unfortunately people at night <laughs> uh, people are not at night at night time it's pretty quiet so if you get here pretty late i would recommend sort of close to as dark as possible and then people won't walk past the tent but i set up at nine and it was still bright until around about quarter ten um so yeah people walking by and then this morning uh someone walked by here at <laughs> i think it was uh five uh what's the time now yeah 5 30 that was uh 15 minutes ago so yeah it's very early i'm up very early um i'm gonna make a coffee and uh start packing up tent my tent is absolutely saturated it's one of those uh mildew nights unfortunately um so i'm gonna be packing my tent away wet all right let's get moving uh a lot to do today getting the brew done oh yeah coffee time going Starbucks today. It's pretty good by the way, the camel eyes. Uh, good way to wake up in the morning. Shove that in there. Da, 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 da. I've got some bits in my car. go it's cold this morning guys cheers my dears I'm gonna enjoy this coffee and I'm gonna get wrapped up uh, I'm gonna close my tent as well shall I take a sip I don't know if you can hear that in the background but that's actually the little train they have Anyway, catch you later. And away we go. Morning everyone. So set off now. I have no idea where I'm going to today. <laughs> it's supposed to be Canterbury. Uh, I'm gonna say that we're gonna go to Canterbury, Hive to Canterbury. Um, however, I feel tired or I find a good camping spot just before Canterbury then uh just stumble across one while camp then uh i might take that option i'm gonna take it nice and easy today felt really tired after yesterday's ride and the day before but i just thought i'd show you this uh this road this gravel track getting all gravel everywhere all the gravel dust 
in my bags, on my bike, but it's okay. We're having fun. So I'm gonna go to Sainsbury's first. Gonna get some breakfast, which is gonna consist of a nice smoothie. And I don't know what else yet, but I'll have a look about. This is literally where boardwalk comes from. This is very, very bumpy. Trying to get off this path. About 166 meters up. I haven't got much further to go. I think 168 meters elevation. But ah, I've got another one. And uh, this one's probably the best looking one that I've seen. Uh, or planted in the best looking place. Check that out. That's uh, Folkestone over there. Anyway, I'm going to continue on because Dover's just around the corner. I think it's all downhill from here. So, or well, just once I get to the top of the summit. Should get some view, nice views up there as well. So let's keep going. About to finish. This is the uh, finish line for the NT2. Ah, so if you did the if you did the um, Land's End to Dover, then this is the finish finish point. But uh, I'll show you in a minute uh, what I'm going to say next. But over there, you can see I don't know what castle it is, the Dover Castle. Uh, over here is where you catch the ferries to France. And uh, also got other ferries as well going okay, elsewhere. But yeah, made it to Dover. It's uh, I'm quite happy about that. I'm excited. So um, let me show you then the next thing. <laughs> uh, uh, let me squeal over here. And just where it says finish, it is the official start all right so this is where i'm starting the nc1 uh actually i'll quickly show you no uh, but anyway from now on i can see the nc1 sign so actually i'll take a picture for you i won't do a video because i've got a ride there so yeah here we go then guys this is the start to go towards john groats i'm not saying i'm going to get to john groats um it because of time uh i might be going back to china so if that happens then i might not be able to finish it i am going back to china hopefully in september but i have a month to ride it it is possible um there it might be a little trip halfway through I might take a break halfway through um but i'll explain that when it's confirmed but if that doesn't happen then i will continue riding to scotland all right so let's set off road to the top of the hill and uh, I want to confirm that is Dover Castle over there. Anyway, we've got something else special coming up, I think. I don't want to say too much just in case not, but I uh, don't know what else you know that is famous in Dover. If you don't know, you're going to find out pretty much soon. All right, I'm going to keep riding back that way. I've come off course just to see this, this castle. It is pretty epic. All right, let's go. Aha! So, on that bicycle only road at the moment. I'm not even sure people can walk on here. I mean, I'm sure they could, but it says everything uh, ex except for cyclists. Um, so yeah, this is a 
biking trail only. I've seen people's houses here, so they must drive there. I just saw a van. Um, anyway, guys, I'm sad to tell you that I missed the perfect glitch. That was the special part. I thought the NCN1 was going to pass it, and it kind of does. I was in the National Park, and I was just following the route, and they took me out the back of it. So <laughs> we never even like went near it. So uh, unfortunately, I don't have any footage of the cliffs. No, I didn't get to see it myself. But uh, when I realised that I wasn't going to see it, it was too late. I was not going to ride back and go for all that. So yeah, carrying on. I still got quite a way, ways to go. Yeah, and I've already seen this today. So it's fine. I am absolutely loving this ride today. Uh, this is the NCN one. Going to deal just past uh, Dover Castle, right? It is amazing. Once you're at the top, you start ascending, you go into this cycle path, it is amazing. That might have been the end of that. Uh, Got up to the coast any second. That was a really good ride. No traffic, quiet. And downhill, hey! I just passed Deal. It's a bit of a weird name for a place, isn't it? Unless it's Dial. But uh, I spelled D E A L, so Deal. And now, believe it or not, I'm going to a place called Sandwich. I, I had no idea that even existed a place called that. Uh, is that where the sandwich was first made? I'd have to search that up. If you know, the answer to that question, put it in the comment section below. Huh. So I'm fighting the headwind at the moment, not the joys, but uh, when I turn west, I'm going to Canterbury, I should have a slight tailwind, which would be nice. Uh, for some reason I said this morning that we're going to go to Canterbury, but I actually plan to go to Sittingbourne. That's a weird name. There's so many strange names in the UK. I also wanted to say as well that uh, when riding into Dover, it was really beautiful coming along the, the cliff tops. And I met a guy called Mark, who's a, who uh, works in the emergency services. Anyway, so I rode with him for a little bit. You'll see, in the, I'll label him in the clip earlier. I'm kind of telling him. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's a good old chin wag with him in the chat. And uh, yeah, he's done quite a lot of riding. A few a few little tours here and there. He went from uh, Land's End to Dover. So, epic. All right, so I'm gonna continue on. I just wanted to tell you that. Got to mention that earlier. So, when I remember, I'll tell you. Off to Sandwich we go. Is it a tradition when you reach Sandwich Town? I'm guessing it's a town. You're supposed to eat a sandwich. Who knows? Arrived in Canterbury. This is everything I was expecting it to be. Old buildings like this one here, and uh, a small little high street of traditional sort of values. Cathedrals down here somewhere. I need to go left, but I'm not sure. Okay, I'm going way off route here. Okay, I found the cathedral doors right here, but you need a ticket to get in. I'm not going to do that. So, not to see a cathedral. I'll leave that to the tourists. Anyway, you can kind of get the character with the old streets here. Shops. Cobbles. Lots of colour.
All right, I'm gonna get back on route anyway and continue riding to the city. Boring. I wanted to show the cathedral and I didn't spend much time in uh, Canterbury I'm afraid. Uh, I, I went very quickly through it and the gardens were really nice. I should have filmed that because the water is just absolutely lush but I'll post pictures here. But I wanted to show the cathedral. I don't think there's a zoom feature on here so what I'm going to do is I'll take a picture and I'll show you from here. But actually it's a bit of a con right now because they're doing construction I can see it from here so even if you went in I guess you want to go inside the cathedral right see what's like, what it looks like inside but anyway there it is way over there uh, I'm gonna keep riding it's heating up oh, and I'm getting pretty hungry now so I'm gonna keep riding on I've got let's have a look I've got uh, so far I've done 85 kilometers nearly 86 actually I've been riding four hours 45 minutes and distance remaining is 38.27 kilometers all right I'll just show you there whoa, whoa. so yeah I'll be arriving there at half past six so yeah, I'm just gonna keep I'm gonna get my move on uh, there's quite a few options today for wild camping um, I haven't decided where yet exactly but um, yeah there's some good spots uh, a couple of woods so I'll probably take those will it fit uh, yeah Just thought I'd show you this. Oh, beautiful. I've done a lot of off road today and it's been good. Actually, I've, I, I've been through uh, quite a few forests today as well. Uh, lots of shaded areas. Like, if you don't take a sat nav on this route, you're going to miss so many signposts. Like, you, you'll just miss, you'll miss the turnings, I mean. Um, the signposts aren't easy to spot sometimes as well, but yeah, like there's just all of a sudden a little turn here, you would never ever expect it. So I'm totally grateful. I seem to have uh, fixed my Fenix watch for directions. Um, I spent a bit of time last night looking at how to reduce uh, battery consumption. So I'm seeming to do pretty well on the battery today. I did charge it up once I got to Dover, had breakfast and I uh, was able to charge my devices there. Um, but I only used, I think, 20% at that time. So it's doing really good at the moment. Anyway, enjoy the views, guys. Oh, it's really hard to film and cycle at the same time. Here's a thought, maybe I should just stop and show you. <laughs> no, that's just too easy, isn't it? <laughs> Came in from over there. You're gonna hear the train, but not too late. There's a grassy patch over there actually. I like that, but I think this is the best place.